Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to T. Nolan and Sons Scania here in Castle Island in County Kerry in Ireland. Now I'm down here today to test drive Nolan's brand new demonstrator model. It's the Scania R500. So I'm looking forward to showing you all around this truck. Then we'll get hooked underneath a trailer and take it out on a test drive. But this won't be any ordinary test drive because I'm testing myself to see how economically I can drive this truck. So a sort of an economy test. Yeah, and we'll be hooked under a fairly heavy load as well. So it'll be a good test for it. So let's get cracking. The Scania R500. Okay, let's have a look around the R500 then. Just finished here in plain white. We do have the mirrors there matching in with the bodywork and the two air horns up on the roof and they are covered in for aerodynamic reasons and just to keep the dirt out of them. Now we do have the sun visor above the windscreen. Now some companies opt for these trucks not to have the sun visor because it does save on fuel not having it but I mean it looks like not having it would be like a face with no eyebrows. Uh, yeah I kind of like my sun visor above the windscreen but as I said some companies don't want it because they want to save on fuel. Now we do have the grill already pre-opened. Let me just open that and give you a quick look. Uh, we do have full LED lights front and rear on this R500 as well. Uh, I've shown you in behind these grills before, but nevertheless, we'll have another look. We have our cab tilt bars, one at either side, and of course your cab suspension there, and our coolant bottle, and we can top up our oil. There is no dipstick, that is an electronic gauge on the dashboard uh, and our R500 logo there. Let me just pull that down. We have our step there so you can stand up and clean your windscreen. But that's how it looks with all the bits opened up. And of course we have our fly screen here for our radiator. Now you can get a radiator cover as well for really cold weather. So it's a, if it's five degrees Celsius or lower, you can use your radiator cover. I'll show you that shortly when we open up the uh, side lockers but yeah that's how it looks in behind the grill we can close that up very easy and we do have a strap here we can pull down the grill and clip it back in now i do have the key in my pocket let me just give you a look at that so your remote locking and we have the scania logo at the back so we simply lock unlock we can turn on the parking lights and we can do a full light test just by pressing that. So it'll go down through all our lights just to make sure that they're all working when you're doing your morning checks. But yeah, let's just walk around here. Now this is where you tilt the cab. So we have a cab tilt pump here and your pump valve on the other side. So you would turn that either up and down on your cab and then you would jack your bar here, stick in your jacking bar there to, uh, to tilt the cab. So yeah, we have a full air deflector kit on Nolan's demonstrator. I'm just gonna turn back off the light test. Now we just have standard wheels on the front axle of this. Uh, we don't have any super singles and we just have a normal steel wheel, uh, no aluminum wheels on the R500. Now you see the straps there, they are also matching in with the paintwork. We have a 540 liter diesel tank and our AdBlue tank which flows in to the middle of the chassis. Now these are hydraulic pipes, so that's all tipping gear for your tipping trailers and your walking trailers as well for emptying out your load. And we have the Scania above there on top and Nolan Scania sticker there on the back. That looks nice. Now I haven't seen this before on the trucks. We have an orange catwalk light. So yeah, that's a new, uh, a new thing on me anyway. And we have the uh, automatic greasing system. Let's have a look inside at the engine. Your straight six cylinder diesel engine, 13 liter. And yeah, we have the add blue tank. You fill here and it flows in. The tank is situated in between the chassis. Now this is a six by two. This is a mid lift. So uh, it's not a steering axle, just a mid lift. And we have the hubs there matching in with the white on the paintwork. Let me just turn back on those lights again. And we can go down through a light test and we have the uh, you can connect your positive here for your jump leads if you want to jump start another truck and your negative goes there as I showed you before and our air tanks and that's your cover for your batteries so your two big batteries are situated in behind there 
let's just have a look into the chassis area there uh, very nice looking at these ones they're all new and nice and clean and we have our fifth wheel now that is a full adjustable fifth wheel so you would pull this lever here and when you're hooked underneath the trailer you can reverse forward and backwards and your fifth wheel would move up and down so I really like adjustable fifth wheels and I wish my own truck had one <laughs> but uh, yeah they're a great thing to have on a truck your adjustable fifth wheel because if you're hooking under trailers and the trailers are too close to the cab you just have that option to uh, move the trailer back with your adjustable fifth wheel so yeah that is your hydraulic tank you'll see there on the tank hydraulic filter must be changed every 12 months uh, preventing pump failure on your R500 and of course your uh, exhaust system here uh, on the Euro 6 truck 2019 registration there's only around 250 miles up on this so very low mileage so yeah the truck is opened let's just hop in and give you a look now we don't have any bottom locker here that's only for the S series but these lockers are more or less the same size as an S series on this R500 so the locker on the far side is practically the exact same size as this one so uh, that is your radiator cover as well and you'll see there to be used at five degrees Celsius or lower so it's handy for cold countries if you want to cover up your radiator uh, what else have we got in here we've got an ABS Suzy uh, first aid kit high-vis vest and our warning triangle and there is some towing equipment in behind that cover as well and yeah that's more or less it there is another warning triangle on the far side so you have two warning triangles okay closing that up now we do have the full leather pack on this R500 that lights up nicely at night as well so we have leatherette on the door here and full leather on the driver and passenger seat and your driver's seat is fully adjustable as well we have and it's also heated and cooled and with your lumbar support and that is for your that's your uh, hydraulic lever for the rear there for your tipping gear as I said and that is your remote for your back axle and you can have memory height functions there as well at the bottom there for all your different heights you can have them pre-programmed in your remote control uh, what's he moving down there he's moving a P280 a rigid and we also have the P440 there as well United Metals so yeah there is a bunch of new trucks here as well so I'll go down through these and also on this side as well we, that is an S730 guys S730 so I, hopefully I can get you a quick look at that when we come back from the test drive now we do have three steps on the R series four steps on the S series um, the R series of course has the hump the engine tunnel there but no clutch pedal we have a 12 speed OptiCruise gearbox so the GRS 905R gearbox and the white stitching there on the seats and we have the Scania logo there embossed into the headrest and we also have the leather steering wheel so let me just give you a quick look here uh, we have the fridge of course so you have a nice size fridge and also storage here on this side your storage little locker there now I'll just show you quickly as well that this bed can be extended so we have a few inches that you can make the bed even bigger but you just have to move the driver and passenger seat forward to get your extendable bed working and it's operated by these two little levers here but yeah very handy if you want to make the bed just that little bit bigger and this is the single occupancy layout so we have three lockers there above the main bunk and we have the uh, little control here for your auxiliary heater your night heater and all your lighting functions and you can open and close the sunroof and we also have a USB connection there at the bed area so very good to have that and we have a little uh, light there your reading light and another lamp there so yeah that's how it looks above the windscreen we have the three lockers there I'll just open up a couple of them now that one is lockable let me just open up that one and give you a quick look they all have lights in them and this one has a 12 volt socket up there on top so that's how it looks with your lockers and of course we have our taco and more uh, buttons up here for your sunroof and lighting functions and your card your driver's card button there 
So yeah, that's how it looks on the dashboard. Always a very nice layout here on the Scania. And we even have these wood look inserts on the dashboard too. So they're a nice touch on this uh, R500. And we have the fold out table there just to put your food if you're eating there on the passenger seat. And of course electric windows and they are laminated side windows as well just to cut down on noise and yeah we're just gonna sit into the driver's seat shortly uh, i'll just pull out these drawers here and give you a quick look so so oh yeah that's the little scania bin as well <laughs> yeah so it has the uh little velcro velcro strap there if you want to tie it onto something and our cup holders there and we also have a 12 volt socket there as well and another cup holder and your usb connections so these are 2.4 amp so you'll see there by the little little uh, logo there so they are 2.4 amp and we have a 1.5 amp here and another and another 2.4 amp so it's very handy to have all your uh, usb connections and your 12 volt and your 24 volt socket there as well so yeah i'm just going to sit into the driver's seat and we actually will start it up and we'll give you a quick look uh let you know what it's like when we start it up okay uh let's go for it <laughs> nice scanny logo on start up there yeah so they are very quiet um yeah it's not like the t-series you've seen in a previous video <laughs> we're dealing with a lot quieter truck here so i'm just going to give it a, a couple of light revs there because the engine is still cold but yeah always a very nice layout here and our SD card slots there, so your, your navigation and your media files on your SD card slots. And all our lighting control functions, we have a uh, traction control and your differential lock. And your lift axle controls and our air conditioning. And over here we have our PTO switch, air horn switch. Let me just press that actually. And let me just see what it sounds like. Now that is loud. <laughs> And we have our handbrake here and more controls up here for dimming your uh, controls here on the dashboard, your instruments, you can dim them. And we also have the advanced emergency braking. We have our lane departure warning switch there and our hill hole function there. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, show you now some buttons on the, I'm just going to turn it off actually, turn off the engine. Uh, close the door. Uh, we have loads of switches here on the door as I said before uh, Lock and unlock uh, electric windows and your mirrors are all electrically operated and also heated and Your lighting functions there for your headlamps and we can adjust the headlamp level as well by that switch there and your spotlight buttons there moving down here we've got more lamp switches and we can um, re rise and lower our back suspension here so not only by the remote you can use it uh, use these switches as well which i really like and this is your gear selector so we've had forward and in and down for reverse and we have a uh, you have your automatic function and manual function there so we can go down through our gears manually if we wish up and down and we have the auto functions for your auxiliary brakes they're operated on that uh, lever there so and also the retarder is operated here so we have five functions there five stage retarder so i'll be going down through all that on the drive and all our different controls let me just start it back up again and go down through some of the menu here uh, we can change our driving modes by this switch so if i just give you a quick look there we can come out of our differential lock and go into economy mode uh, standard mode or power mode and over here on the right will tell us what gear we're in and auto mode so if i flick the lever there you see fourth gear auto mode now on the right hand side we have our rev counter uh, add blue gauge your engine temperature gauge fuel gauge and our speedometer and also in digital format here for our speedometer so a uh, nice layout there let me just go down through some of the menu here just to give you guys a look i'm just going to zoom back in here and just to be, uh, now that is our driving score. This is what we will, we will be monitoring on the drive. So our anticipation, the brakes, and how we're performing on the hills. So uh, we can go down through running hours and your brake pressure. 
and that's for your telephone and our startup checklist so let's just click on that engine oil brake linings clutch disc uh, let's just check the engine oil that is fine and go back out of that and we can check our brake linings they are good back out of that on our clutch and also our maintenance so it'll tell you there when it's due for its next maintenance check so yeah that is a very nice layout there from scania and we can come back out of that and back into our mode selection and it does have adaptive cruise control as well that's operated here on the steering wheel so cruise control adaptive cruise control and also our downhill speed control which is operated with the cruise control so this is a nice function to save on fuel and also on your brake linings as well you would use that for going down your hills um, but this is a very nicely an easy to navigate menu just going down through all your functions there and this is all for your stereo and uh, yeah very handy to have all these functions on the steering wheel and that is for adjusting your steering column so you can move your steering up by that switch but yeah that's how it looks on the interior nice foot rest there as i said no clutch pedal on the 12 speed opti cruise gearbox yeah so that's it i think i'm going to get hooked underneath the trailer and hit the road <laughs> head off on our test drive I just want to show you quickly around the S730 now John O'Connor from Knockin Transport here in Castle Island has kindly just let me have a walk around of his truck he's heading away shortly so we need to be fairly quick on this uh, now the tag axle there at the rear full Alcoa aluminium wheels all around and we have the short wheelbase so these are a very maneuverable truck in and out of tight locations with your short wheelbase uh, the V8 engine, S730, I mean, this is the flagship engine for the moment, guys. We are dealing with 3,500 newton meters of torque here. A uh, very powerful engine on your S730. And I'm just go going to walk around the front. We have super singles there at the front. And he has these additional LED lights on the light bar there. So plenty of light out of this S730. And three more there up on top. So as you all know, 2019, uh, Scania is celebrating 50 years of the V8 engine. So 1969 to 2019. So the question is guys, are they going to introduce their flagship for this year? The new flagship that will replace this engine. We're still waiting to see, nobody knows anything yet. Uh, Scania is uh, keeping things close to their chest on that one. but. Uh, we will be waiting and hopefully I can bring you that information sometime this year uh, all going well but anyway we will open it up and give you a look inside now we have the four steps leading up into the cab flat floor on the interior so we have the red stitching on the full leather pack and the V8 logo there on the headrest now you'll notice it has smaller lockers to the um, R500 now that is because this is the normal cab. Now you can get the Highline cab, which would give you even more height, but this is just the normal cab on the S series. So we wouldn't have as much space standing up as the, uh, as the model I'm driving, the R500. Uh, it is about an inch down on the R500, and that's because this is the normal cab, whereas the Highline cab is on the, the, the R500. I know it sounds confusing guys but <laughs> once you uh once you look at the options you'll understand what i'm saying but uh we have the red piping there inserts all around the dashboard but uh yeah be nice to take one of these for a drive <laughs> but anyway we will see <laughs> in the future what happens but yeah that is a quick look at john o'connor from knockin transport and we will see him driving off now and uh, get a sound of the engine. Let's see what this sounds like starting up. 
And this is the Highline cab. So I just thought I'd show you the difference between John O'Connor's truck and this truck here. So the Highline cab just giving you more height in the cab. So this is the S650. So we have 3,300 Newton meters of torque from the S650. So great power from these engines as well, your V8s. And they just have the bits taken off here, just doing work on this truck. But I just wanted to show you the chassis because this is factory painted out of Scania, all factory painted and also the tanks. Let me just show you over there. We also have the tanks painted. So this is an option with Scania where you can get your chassis factory painted. You can also get them in black as well to the normal gray color that you would see um, painted on the chassis. But yeah, that's a very nice looking S650. Okay, let's get out on our test drive. <laughs> okay, this is it. We're about to set off on the drive. Now, some of you have been asking me to do point of view on these test drives. So I'm going to give it a go today and see what you guys think. So this is it. We are now point of view. So uh, we'll give it a go and see what you guys think. Okay, I'm in drive and we will set off and see what this truck is like on the drive. I have everything set to zero. My trip computer, zero. So we will see how we do economy wise. Now they do have a bunch of new trucks here. We have an R500, another one, and an R650 V8. And over there we have an R500, another R500, and we have two P450s over there, just waiting to get bodies on them. But uh, that is the lineup here at Nolan's and there's a couple of more trucks I'll be showing you when we finish our test drive. So we will set off and see how this truck performs. Nice and steady, we'll just go nice and handy on the drive and try to save as much fuel as we can. Because as a lot of you know, Scania are giving away a brand new truck in 2019 that is happening this year so it's worth a hundred thousand euro and it's part of the driver uh, tr competition and yeah brand new truck it's going to be absolutely incredible now I won't be entering myself for obvious reasons so uh, can you imagine if I won the truck uh, they'd, be, they'd be saying there's a big conspiracy theory a youtuber who does Scania videos wins a Scania truck a uh, big massive publicity stunt uh, no <laughs> I won't be entering myself guys but hopefully I'll be able to cover the final that is happening up in Strokestown in County Roscommon the main Scania dealer up in Strokestown so hopefully I'll be able to cover that final the Irish national final for the competition that will be coming up in March now the deadline is the 1st of February to have your entries in you have to register online and you have to have your questionnaire finished by the 15th of February so you haven't too long more to go so get online www.scania.ie and get registered and fill out your questionnaire and hopefully you will do well and you will be up there in Strokestown taking part and competing to win the truck now they did have an Irish winner of that truck in the past and they also had an Irish finalist. Um, yeah, so Ireland has done quite well in this competition. Now there could be anything between 30 and 40 countries taking part in this competition. So it's just a massive competition that Scania Hills, uh, holds every two years. Although they did skip 2018, they were supposed to have this competition in 2018 
but uh, they skipped 2018 and are having it this year instead. So yeah, I'm going to tip away up the hill, nice and handy. I'm gonna keep it in auto eco, so economy mode. I'm keeping it there because we do have enough torque to pull this load up. I'm carrying about 19 ton. So yeah, it's a, it's not a very heavy load, but this truck should cope with this hill no problem in economy mode. But if it does start to labor, I will knock it down a gear manually just to stop the truck from going um, into labor. But uh, I'm, yeah, I think I'm gonna switch manual mode and just keep it in 10th because it should pull up the hill here. We do have 2,550 Newton meters of torque, which is a lot of torque for a 500 horsepower engine. Now, if you were to compare this engine to the previous generation R500, that had a V8 engine, but that has 50 Newton meters less than this engine. So 2,550 in this and 2,500 in the previous R500. But uh, yeah, it just goes to show you how much these engines have moved on. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the new flagship is going to be. <laughs> We're still all waiting, guys. I've no information. It's just a waiting game. Scania is not letting out any information at all. But 50 years of the V8, it's a big year for Scania. Now, the whole philosophy with the V8 engine when it came out in 1969, as I told you before, it was the most powerful engine in Europe, 350 horsepower. Um, so the whole philosophy was to have a high torque output with low engine revs, which would mean that you'd be changing gears less. So you just have a more powerful engine and you would have a longer service life with your V8 engine. So, I mean, some of these V8, V8 engines have been known to do 1.5 million miles but uh, I'd love to drive one that has well over a million miles yeah some of these trucks have savage mileage on them the V8s so I'm just gonna go nice and handy uh, I will put it back into auto mode and we will just roll back down and it will get us down I'm gonna go nice and handy now pulling off here and we're in first gear which is good because we are still on a bit of a slope and I just want to go in here nice and slowly so we can uh, try to save as much fuel as we can now with that mid lift given that it's not a steering axle you could feel a bit of scrubbing there just as I turned around there was a bit of scrubbing but if you don't want that bit of scrubbing just go for the one with the steering mid lift so yeah we're clear to go here back down the hill now we are going to use all this weight to push us down this hill so we're not going to accelerate too much because we don't need to now I am going to turn on my automatic auxiliary brakes so when I reach a certain speed on the speedometer I'm gonna press the brakes and then let go of the accelerator obviously because I'm pressing the brakes and then it will hold us at that speed so I'm just going to let it roll down the hill. I have my foot off the accelerator now. I let it roll down to 75 kilometers. And then I will press the brakes. Dab of the brakes, just one dab. Now the auxiliary brakes are holding us down the hill. So it might just hold at this speed because we are still going downhill and that weight will push us. So this is all just to save on brake wear and obviously saving on fuel because you don't want to be speeding down to this roundabout and then, then slamming on your brakes. You're not saving fuel that way. So we're just going to take our time going down this hill. Obviously, somebody will be impatient behind us and probably start to overtake, but they're being patient today, which is good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I might go on a bit of a longer route, maybe in through Castle Island just to give this a real proper test and get a bit of mileage up so we can get an economy figure but at the moment there you can uh, we can flick down through our trip computer just to give you a quick idea of how we're doing 
Now the reason why I'm doing this small economy test is that the people that are going forward to the driver competition, this is what these guys are going to be doing up in Strokestown. They're going to be going out on an economy drive and they could be driving this truck, they could have a light load, they could have a heavy load. I don't know anything about the testing up in Strokestown. I have no idea what way they're going to do it. Are they going to do it on an automatic truck or a manual truck? I would imagine automatic myself. That sun is strong. Let's go nice and easy now and I'm going to pull down the sun visor. Oh yeah, one thing I must show you as well on the sun visor here, right? You do have an extendable piece that folds down there. So very handy to have that. But as I said before, we do have a bit of a gap here that will show in early morning sun or low evening sun. So you might get dazzled there. So Scania need to have a bit of an extendable piece here just to cover in that gap. So yeah, we will, uh, we are also going downhill as well here. So I can take my time going down so we can maximize our fuel economy. So I'm gonna dab the brakes again, just one quick dab. And we are now holding with our auxiliary brakes. So yeah, I'm gonna continue into Castle Island and we'll chat a bit more about the driver competition. Okay, we're slowing down to a roundabout here. I'm just going to use my retarder to aid the braking so we can save on our brakes, not to be rushing up too much to the roundabout. And we'll make our way into Castle Island just for a short drive. Okay. Yeah, you just want to roll up to a roundabout just at the right speed. If you do get caught at the roundabout, okay, it might cost you a bit of diesel, but you just want to keep momentum the whole time if you can on the roundabout. This is something that you will be required to do up in Strokestown when you're doing your economy test. Now, if a car pulls out in front of you and you slam on your brakes, well, <laughs> that's just your tough look because they will obviously be going down through the if I just toggle through, you'll see there at the moment, um, at the bottom there we have anticip anticipation. Uh, so how good are you at anticipating what's ahead? And then we have our brakes, and then we have our hill, uh, your hill performance, how you are doing. So you can see there at the moment the brakes, I'm getting 86% out of 100, which is pretty good. So um, yeah, it just averages your speed, and the distance and your use of the auxiliary brake and the retarder, of course. So I'm just going to, now you will see as well, we do have eco roll. So the truck knows when it doesn't need that extra bit of power and it will go into neutral. So we are now literally coasting. So I'm going to go nice and handy and there straight into ninth gear and still pulling away nicely. So as you see yourself, even though it's in economy mode, it's still pulled away up that hill. So we didn't even need standard mode or power mode. So yeah, we have a bit of a long test drive today. A bit of an extended video for you guys. Yeah, so the whole competition up in Strokestown, I do hope to get up to the national final. And then the final itself will be happening over in Scania in Sweden, where all the countries in Europe that are taking part will have one winner from each country. So there could be 30 applicants, there could be 40. It all depends how many countries are taking part and they will be going forward to try to win a brand new truck. So yeah, massive competition. And just going through Castle Island. Okay. But these trucks are very comfortable, even though the front axle is on a parabolic spring, an A-leaf spring, 
the uh, back axle is on air of course but it is still very comfortable on the front axle and very good visibility out of the cab plenty of visibility out this area here and out through the side windows yeah I really like that but uh, yeah we're going to go nice and easy now now we will be climbing up a slight hill up here as well so we'll try to do the best we can guys and pretend we're up in strokes down doing the economy test so uh, yeah I'd be very interested to see how that competition goes now they do have a whole series of things to do they have two separate days to do up in Strokestown the first day is the economy driving and then the second uh, day that they will be required uh, to do is um, that's all tying down your load and maneuvering and various other things that they will be expecting you to do on your second day in Strokestown and then the third day will be you hopefully going to Scania in Sweden for the final now there I'm just going to manually knock it down because it was starting to labor there a small bit and I'll go down into 10th just to keep it flowing nicely yeah so the power band is between 1100 rpm and 1400 rpm so we'll try and keep it in around that yeah we're back at Nolan's now we'll put in and see how we done for the economy <laughs> let's hope we done okay guys Okay, we're back from the drive. I'm just gonna give it a couple of revs. Okay, we're just gonna knock it off and we're going to restart just the ignition there just to go down through the figures. So you'll see there, our total route was 14 kilometers. We averaged 33 kilometers an hour. Uh, we did 54.9 liters per 100 kilometers and you'll see there we have 7.7 .7 liters of fuel we used up on our route um 25 minutes and that is our driving score so we have zero showing up on the hill there 81 percent for our auxiliary brakes and anticipation 58 percent so they are their results um what can i say it could be better but there you have it guys that is our driving score on our short little route here today so bear with me for another couple of minutes I've just another couple of trucks to show you but I enjoyed my drive today in the R500 brand new um, yeah just testing myself on the economy figures but um, I just want to show you the trailer behind this 124L with 420 horsepower quite an unusual trailer we have the extendable heavy load trailer so this has seven axles at the back so 28 wheels on the back of this trailer and it can be extended I think it's up to a hundred feet and it can carry up to 90 tons but the strange thing about this trailer as well is that it can be operated remotely so whatever driver is driving behind this driver driving this truck can steer the trailer by remote so they can be sitting in their cab and steering this trailer for this driver so I just think that that is pretty cool so this driver doesn't have to worry about uh, his trailer because when you extend them out they are an awful job to try and drive them because they're steering axles as well so the trailer will be swinging um, yeah so you really need to keep an eye on the back of that trailer and we have an R480 there 2010 registration okay a couple more to show you then we will wrap it up guys so you've already seen the video I shot of the T143M but it's the S580 I want to show you beside it uh, belong to JJB Transport so he has the big bull bar there out the front and the spotlights there behind it so you'd have a lot of protection from the bull bar there uh, I just want to walk around the back just to give you a look at what he has done he has the extra lights down the side another one positioned there all the catwalk area is all covered in in checkered plate and down the back also and he has this section with extra lights and he has the stacks out the top so 
I wonder, uh, no, it's not happening today. Uh, it'd be good to have a rev off, wouldn't it? <laughs> but no, no, that's not happening. But anyway, we have the LED lights at the back on your 2017 S580. I just thought I'd give you a quick look at that. And we have the tipper truck here. That is a P450 tipper, five axle tipper truck. So yeah, that is, uh, you carry a good bit of weight on that. And just walking down, we have the uh, R440 there. Belong to Cosgrave Transport. And an R560 with its V8 engine there. And we have the S650, 650 horsepower V8, uh, 3,300 newton meters of torque, finished nicely in grey, and the lamps there up on the roof. So uh, yeah, we're just going to quickly walk up here to give you a look. And we have Eamon O'Connell and Son there with their brand new R500, just getting ready to hit the road. And we have two new P450s, so these are just waiting to get their bodies on and they will be hitting the road very shortly as well and this is the way they transport them with the marker lights just uh, on top of the chassis there obviously they'll be put on the body when the body goes on the back and we have the exhaust stack out the back now they only do this for transportation where they locate the stack there just connected to that little bracket there so obviously that's going to go on there when they uh, when they get the body on but I just thought I'd give you a quick look around that and the R500 there also uh, brand new there with the tag axle at the back okay let me just swing over here three more uh, we have an R650 there on the left beside two R500s so they are very similar there at the front the R650 has black around the headlamps and we have white around the headlamps there on the R500 but it all depends what way you specify the truck you can get white around the R650 or black around the R500. It's all your own preference, what you want Nolans to do. And that's where I'm going to wrap it up today from T. Nolan and Sons Scania here in Castle Island in County Kerry. Just down here to test drive their brand new demo model, the R500. So if you want any more information on this truck, just click on the link in the description and you can also follow them on Facebook. The link is below. So yeah, these videos would not be possible only for Nolan's help. So a huge thanks to them for having me here today and to show all of you guys some big long list of trucks out there getting ready for 2019 registration. But uh, yeah, that's a wrap. So I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video, guys. So until then, take care. I'm done. Cheers! Because I'm testing myself to see how economically I can dream. <gasps> Locking it up there. But uh, yeah, if you want the cut, then con And you can also follow them on Facebook. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs>